Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. In today's scroll saw project video, we're going to be making some more sawdust, doing another one of Steve Good's Stickman projects. These are great projects to use up some of the various shop scraps you accumulate throughout the weeks and months being in your workshop, making stuff, using up all the cutoff pieces and all. But the subject of today's Stickman project video is the Stickman Surfer. It's going to use a piece of quarter inch pl plywood, a piece of one eighth inch plywood, and then the actual base is three quarter inch thick um, pine or three quarter inch material. And this actually depicts a shark chasing the Stickman Surfer. We're going to glue the surfboard and the Stickman right here. It's going to give it nice depth and dimension and a nice 3D effect. But this would make a great gift for anyone who lives at the beach or anyone who enjoys surfing or just shark and shark theming. You know, I'm one of those people. I've already made this project one time, and the first time I made it, it everyone really liked it over on my Instagram feed, and it's in my room now with my shark stuff. So I wanted to make another one to show you guys how I made it. I've already got the patterns attached to all the material with clear packing tape. So let's head over to the drill press, drill our pilot holes, and get started. Starting over here on the drill press, we're going to use a drill bit and drill all of our pilot holes. And I believe this would be a great beginner scroll saw project because it only has three internal cuts. And then we're going to come over here to the scroll saw and start cutting. We're going to start with the little surfer dude and he is one quarter inch plywood. I am using number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blades for the entire project. And as I said, the pattern was designed by Steve Good, and if you want to try this pattern, you can head over to his website at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com and go through his pattern catalog and find something you'd like to try to scroll out. Now we're going to cut out the little surfboard with the shark bite in it, and it is actually 1 8 inch plywood. And then we're going to move over to the shark and this is actually the base of the whole project and it is three quarter inch pine if you guys haven't already I'd encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram at artisan pirate I try to post over on Instagram at least twice daily but the, moving on with our third and final internal cut and then we're going to put the blade back in and put tension on and release the base from the wood with the final cut and the only really tricky part of this whole project is the mouth cutting out all the little teeth on the shark and there you see me doing the veining where I go in and cut and then pull the blade back out to add detail but there I was doing the teeth little bit more veining on the fin and then we're going to come back around the tail of the shark and finish up the scroll work now over here on the workbench we're going to remove all the patterns and then get ready to sand using a high grit sandpaper with the palm sander and I always do more sanding off camera this is just the initial sanding and now using Gorilla Glue Gorilla Wood Glue actually to attach the surfer dude to the surfboard and using these little micro clamps to hold everything together and let it dry a while then we come back and remove the clamps and add the surfer dude to the base and I made sure I liked where it was going and positioned it properly and it was really awkward clamping this because of the angle of the wave that you glue him on I'm sure rubber bands would have actually worked better but I wanted to use the micro clamps and after that dried a while I took it apart took the clamps off and the project was complete and done And here we have the completed Stickman Surfer. I think it turned out real good. The various thicknesses of wood really gives it that look of 3D effect. 
and depth and all that these Stickman projects offer. Shout out to Steve Good for designing these awesome patterns. He is a valuable asset to the scroll saw community and I tip my well, tip my bandana to him. But awesome. All that's left to do is add the clear coat. I really love this being a pirate and being a lover of the ocean and tropical stuff. I just think it turned out real cool. I like it. Another look at it. Surf's up dudes. That is about all for this video. Remember guys, if I can make it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.